Two Works For You Sports, sponsored by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. What's going on, everybody? Welcome into sports. Hopefully, you know by now that on Monday, June 29th, VSPM will be showing a film called Eddie. It's about the late, great Oklahoma State basketball coach, Eddie Sutton, who died here in Tulsa just a month ago. Now, this has been a four-year process co to conduct all the interviews and to shoot everything. And today, I got a chance to talk with both of the men who are responsible for this film happening, Chris Hunt and Dave Hester. Eddie had been nominated for the Naismith Hall of Fame a few times, wasn't getting in, um, kind of as a Oklahoma State follower and <laughs> former student there. Um, it got me riled up. And so whenever I uh, brought, to, brought the idea to Dave and kind of pitched him the idea to do the story, um, we just kind of thought we were uniquely qualified to be able to tell it. Back then, we didn't we didn't know the Sutton family. We didn't know um, we didn't have access to people who could fund the film. Uh, we didn't know about putting together film budgets and how to get in contact with people like Bill Clinton and Jerry Jones. We talked to Scott Sutton yesterday, and you know he's very open about how candid him and Sean were, and talking about some of the issues that Eddie had. Uh, just. How important was that for you guys to make sure that that stuff got in there? Extremely important. I think without their um, just honesty and uh, complete openness about their dad's life, this movie doesn't happen. We tried to make it very clear that we wanted to tell the whole story. What's it like going to see your, your project beyond the biggest platform you could possibly imagine? It is just a, a dream come true. Um, to have our film on that platform um, with the access to the world that was, we've always wanted is that this film would be a national story and it would have a national audience. And I think that once people get a chance to start watching this, they're gonna, regardless of even if they like basketball, even know who he was, I think audiences are gonna love it because it's about a human story and, it, it, and it's a story that everyone can relate to. There were several moments where we, if we'd be lying if we said this, this project is probably not going to happen. And every time that happened, uh, there would be something else happen that bought us another week. I just think it's just, uh, just a kind of a never give up. I just would say to people, if they have something that they want to do in their life, whatever, whatever that might be, um, to please uh, fight through the adversity and, and, and try to get it done. Cause it's worth it. When Chris and his staff first approached us, I think that's what their kind of their their hopes and dreams were. And you know, ESPN's Thirty for Thirty, those type of uh, shows. And um, and then we watched it. I guess it was about a year ago this summer, and you know, we were blown away. But I thought it was so well done that somebody'd be crazy not to pick it up. I, I'm just thrilled for Chris and his crew and really happy that so many people that uh, haven't been able to watch it yet uh, get, get a chance to watch it Monday night.